and welcome back guys to another episode of Let's Play Persona 4 Gold and we're fighting Shadow Yukiko and we're kind of beating her ass. <laughs> feel kind of bad. Rakunda. Sonic Punch, Charming Knight. Oh my god, he's got a lot of HP. Mabufu. What? We're not done yet. Show me this strength of yours. Come, my prince. <laughs> you little. My prince. My dear prince. Ha! Why? Why won't he come? No one's coming. Bufu. This fight's over, bro. You're done. End it. What? All right. Well, then uh Sonic Punch. Yosuke's in Yosuke's in trouble. Uh Bufu. Now can we end it? Dead? Oh my god. Looks like I have the wrong idea. You're no princes. Die, you worthless commoners. It's cornered. You're nearly I think this is it. Well, just us two, but I think we should be able to handle this. Yeah! <sighs> you can't see the numbers. 50,000 yen and 1,668 experience. Level 19. Absar's now level 9. Yosuke is now level 19. And Tomoe is now level uh, 19 as well. That's Chie. I'm sorry, I keep saying the wrong name. Hell yeah. Uh, Yukiko! Yukiko, are you hurt? No, I'm not. We understand. You're not the only one like that, Yukiko-san. Everyone has something they can't show to other people, or don't want to admit to themselves. Yukiko, I'm sorry. I was so self-centered that I never understood what you were going through. I'm your friend, and I still... I'm so sorry. Chie. I was always jealous of you, Yukiko. You had everything that I didn't. That jealousy was like a wall and I was so lonely. I wanted you to need me, but it was me who needed you. I can't do anything right on my own. I've caused so much trouble for Yosuke and the others. If you weren't by my side, I, I wouldn't know what to do. Chie, I never saw the real you either. I was too busy trying to find an easy way out. I want to run away. I want someone to save me. You're right. Those feelings are part of me too. I understand now. You're me. Are you okay? Yes, I'm just a little tired. You all came to rescue me. Of course! 
course. Thank you. <laughs> Don't even mention it. I'm just so glad you're safe. <laughs> right on. So, who threw you in here? Huh? Who are you? Rather, what are you? I'm Teddy. So who threw you in? I don't know. I think someone called my name. But my memory is a blur. I can't remember who it was. I'm sorry. Um, Teddy? No new clues. Not necessarily. Now we know for sure that someone threw Yukiko-san in here. Hmm. Then it really isn't you guys. <laughs> no, 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 no! Absolutely not! You little... You're one lying sack of honey. Anyways, let's hurry back home. Yukiko looks exhausted. Thanks again, Teddy. Uh, wait, you're leaving me here? Leaving you? What are you talking about? You live here. Well, yeah, but... I'm sorry, Teddy. I promised to come again. So be a good boy and wait here until then. It's getting crowded here. Why don't you and I go somewhere else? Come on, pretty please. Ah, you're giving me the creeps. That's it, you're stuck here for the rest of your life. Yukiko, are you alright? You're not hurt anywhere, are you? No, I'm just a little tired. I'm sorry, but I don't remember anything. Well, no worries. You're safe, and that's more than enough. But there's no mistake that Yukiko-san was, um, attacked the same way as the last two victims. And I think the one we saw on the Midnight Channel wasn't the real Yukiko-san, but her shadow. Maybe the things Yukiko-san was suppressing in this world took form in the TV. You know... Teddy was saying something like that. Ah, it's no use. I'm just going round and round in circles. What kind of person could be doing this? Yeah, we can go over it some other day. Yukiko really needs to get some rest. I'll take her home. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Yukiko-san must be exhausted. We'll talk about all this some more once she gets her strength back. For now, you should wait for Yukiko to recover. work at the same time, so I'm giving him a ride back to his place. I thought we might as well swing by. Nice to meet you. I'm Adachi, the guy who's been your dad's slave since spring. I can still work you harder, you know. <laughs> a good one, sir. <laughs> uh... Oh, I almost forgot. You're friends with Yukiko Amagi, right? They found her safe and sound. Tell all your friends at school. Oh, thanks. Wow, someone thanked me for a job well done. I don't know what to say. But this doesn't mean the case is closed, though. 
We were just questioning Miss Amagi, but she says she doesn't remember anything that happened while she was missing. And we can't figure out her whereabouts during the missing period either. It's like she really disappeared. It's all pretty fishy if you ask me. Like there's something else going on. Ow! Stop blabbering, dumbass. Sorry. Ignore him. He's just spouting some wild fantasy. Yeah, don't give it a second thought. Sheesh. He's a real pain sometimes. I'm hungry. <laughs> You're right. My stomach's growling too. <laughs> so you do have a softer side around Nanako-chan, sir. Shut up and sit down. And wash those hands first. Hmm. I should do the same. Yeah, I would like to save. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah, holy shit. Whoa, next day. Hello. Whoa, hello, Margaret. I realize this is sudden, but I'm Margaret. We met at the Velvet Room the other day. There is one important point I forgot to warn you about. So I thought it best to contact you immediately. The bonds created through social links are another important means of strengthening the powers of your persona. Though you may be pressed for time, devoting yourself to battles will not quench your heart's yearnings. Do not hasten heedlessly through your days, and remember the importance of moving at a sustainable pace. Please remember that. Well then, if you'll excuse me, if you look at the poster in the back, it's Persona 3. So I'd point that out. Like the poster that's... No, that's... poster that's that way. By my character's head. You took Margaret's advice to heart. You should think carefully about how you spend your days. Yo. Oh, what's up? You got morning practice? You can hear the two talking. You know how guys can join the sports club starting today, right? I thought that maybe if I ran around a little, that would be some be some good promotion. Dude, if you run around in that, you're probably you're going How are people going to know which club you're in? I didn't think about that. Haha, <laughs> that's classic you. I hope our club gets some fresh blood too. It gets everyone excited. Are you guys not going to try and get people to sign up? I don't know about that. Everyone's saying they want a girl to be our manager though. Oh hey, let's stop by the shrine in the shopping district on our way home today. Might as well pray for some newcomers. We're leaving that up to God now? Well alright. Oh yeah, did you hear that rumor about the thing that lives at the shrine? I did. I wonder if it's true. Interesting. After school. Class is evident for today. You're waiting for Yukiko to recover. You recall being told that you can join a sports club. Maybe you can find out how to join at the faculty office. Maybe we can. Maybe we will. We got a lot of stuff that I'm going to explain and I'll let the game explain it. So, just like in Persona 5, because I played that one on this channel first. So some of you guys might be coming from that one. You have something called confidants, or in this game, it's called social links. It was called social links in uh, three and four, and then they changed it to confidant in five to match with the aesthetic of everything. Uh, you got your basic ones, like I got Yosuke, I got Chike. Um, you get a bunch of other ones. You join a sports club. You get the sports club guys. You can do, you join an acting class. There's other people you can meet and hang out with, um, and then you rank them up. And then when you go to the velvet room, if you have a uh, let's say. I want to get a uh, fuse a persona of the magician archon, and I have his rank at ten, and get a shit ton of experience right off the bat. It's pretty much the point of it. Um, there's also things in this game, which is your uh, info, your status. You have courage, 
diligence, understanding, expression, and knowledge. All five of those need to be ranked up to five if you want to get certain things, like there are certain social links you can't access to unless you have good knowledge, good courage to ask a girl out, uh, good expression if a girl's too attractive for you, she might be like, hmm, I don't know, you're kind of a dweeb, look at that gray hair, the weird bowl cut. Yeah, understanding to be kind and caring to some friends who are going through hard times, you know, all that good stuff. Um, so these are gonna be things that we'll be working on in between, you know, going to, you know, the other TV world and dealing with certain dungeons in the game. Uh, so for the foreseeable future, the next several episodes, we're going to be working on getting those up and we're going to be focusing on getting uh, more social links and everything going. We were informed today that the sports club was looking for members. So I think this is a good time for us to explore the school a teeny tiny bit. Um, and go to the faculty office, which I believe in this game is actually on the second floor. If I'm right. Clicker free room. Student council. Student council. Library. Library. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's the sec first. Maybe it's the first floor. I don't know. Nurse's office. Faculty office. This is faculty office. Maybe you can inquire about joining a club. Go inside and ask about clubs. Who are we gonna run into? Ah, shit. Eh? You wanna join a club? Oh, no. I know what you're really after. You're just trawling for girls, aren't you? Admit it! Listen up. A club is supposed to be... For some reason, you find yourself getting lectured. So, still wanna join a club? Ask about sports clubs. Trying to break a youthful sweat, are you? You can join either the soccer club or the basketball club. After leaving the faculty office, make a left and go through the exit down the hall to get to where the sports club meets. Uh, by the way, club days are Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Sports clubs don't meet on rainy days. Got it? So are we done here? Cultural clubs. Hmm, too bad. You can't join the cultural clubs. Uh, you can join the cultural clubs after April 25th. This must be a lesson that it's not so easy to meet girls now, is it? We done here? Multiple clubs. Two cultural clubs at the same time? Are you trying to get the most out of your school life? We don't allow students to be in two sports clubs or two cultural clubs. One of each is permitted. Got it? So we done here? Yeah. Go home already. Are you staying at school to hang out with a girl later on or something? Bro, you got problems. Like... I'm just saying, usually when people are doing stuff like that, it's because they're thinking it. So, yeah, he might want to worry about that. So, yeah, when they come to school, you know, they got their, their little lockers in here, you know, with their little shoes and stuff. That looks like a weird disc. That looks like an album or something. It looks like blood. And somebody's got something. P... He, he, I can't read that. I'm gonna look up what that is later, I guess. So, here's all of our students. Who's this chubby guy? I'm worried. Seems like the only thing people are talking about is the incident. I don't see what all the fuss is about. My grandma is at home all by herself right now. You don't think that's dangerous, do you? Oh no, she's dead. It's the emergency exit. Wait, actually, let's take me to the... You can go to the gym or the field from here. It seems that the clubs are practicing. You want to join the basketball or the soccer club? Come to think of it, you recall Igor's words. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. You wonder if you can create a social link here. Will you join the basketball or soccer club? I'm five foot three. I was never meant for basketball. I prefer basketball to watch, but playing wise, I'm a soccer guy. All right, guys, listen up. You have a new teammate. You all know you Yunar Narukami, right? He's from the city, so I'm sure he's got some moves he's just waiting to show off. I say this season is in the bag. I'm even thinking about making him captain. You can hear the other players whispering. The city, huh? 
I bet he'd play for some big team back home. Tch, look at him. City slicker. Probably thinks he's better than us. Yeah, we're just a bunch of hicks to him. Here, why don't you say something to the team? I'm your new captain. You can feel their cold stares. Alright, let's start with a few laps. You, why don't you just watch for today? Practice on Tuesday, th Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, but we don't practice in the rain. We take the week before exams off too, so make sure you use that time to study hard, okay? Sweet. The other players showing no interest in you, dispersed about the field. Hey man. Don't let him get to you. Just play hard and have fun. I'm I'm Daisuke Nagase. I'm Daisuke Nagase. Second year, same as you. Nice to meet you. Yo, Daisuke, you waiting for a special invitation? Let's go. Oh hey, you're that transfer student, right? Join the soccer team, huh? Good, because they need all the help they can get. Pretty weak team, know what I'm saying? Shut up, your team is just as lame. This big mouth here is Ko. He's the same grade as us, but he's on the basketball team. Koichijo. Koichijo. I'm the basketball team's up-and-coming MVP. Man, get your head out of the clouds. Hey, and that's not all. I'm pretty smart, too. If you need any help on your tests, I'm your man. How about it, transfer student? You a smart guy? Stop calling him that. The team's already giving him enough crap as it is. Ah, I can hear it now. Us country folk ain't gonna get shown up by no big shop city boy. Gotta love those guys. It's not funny, man. Well, as long as he's got some skills, they'll back off sooner or later. You played much soccer before you? Eh, plenty. Then this will be easy, right? You became friends with Ko Ichijo and the bas of the basketball team and Daisuke Nagase of the soccer team. Let's go. They accepted you regardless of the rest of the team's hostility. You feel a faint bond forming between the three of you. Whoa! Here we go. Here we go! Ooh, man, number 11. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the strength. Ar strength arcana. Jesus. I think I have that one. Don't No, I don't. Wow. That's crazy I don't have it. Damn it. Now I'm behind on my laps. You, wait up for me so we can walk home together. All right. I'll go get changed. See you in a few. He finished watching practice, finished watching practice, and walked home with Ko and Daisuke. I love that name, by the way, Daisuke. Love it. Home. Thanks, Nanako. Seems Dojima isn't home. Sneak out to the town at night. You can sneak out at night when Dojima isn't around. However, you'll be too tired to go out uh, if you've explored inside the TV that day. So be careful. I don't re usually do this right away, but fuck it. Dojima's not home. Let's go to the riverbank. Fuck it. Why not? Let's explore the town a little bit. There's a doggy. The dog is digging at the ground with a single-minded determination that is admirable. Shopping district. Is going to be anybody out here? Are they all going to be like, oh, no. Or you guys. All right, on to the next bar. Please, boss. No more. Let's go home. Shut up. That's an order. I just got promoted, and you're going to celebrate with me at one more bar. Jesus Christ. So there's a little interesting fact about this place. Raise your knowledge, diligence, some activities. Besides, so today's special is the. Mabo tofu combo. Three different types of Mabo tofu. Hot, ultra hot, and heat delicious. Feel this middle may raise your courage. Currently have 169,135 yen. Spend time here. Fuck it. I was going to show something else, but honestly, this was a good opportunity. You get the Mabo tofu combo. 
before it begins to sweat from the furiously powerful spices. You can no longer feel your tongue. Despite your fear, you continue to eat with shaking hands until the entire dish has been consumed. Respect. Aya! Thank you so much. That'll be 800 yen. I love that dude's face, by the way. He's like... <laughs> Big, long nose. Aya! You must be a student at Yasagami High. My daughter goes there, too. She's out delivering food right now. She's my pride and joy, not to mention a big draw for customers. Big titties, that one. <laughs> All right. After finishing your meal, you went home. And then Dojima showed up and was like, what the fuck? <sighs> oh, are you hungry? Uh, of, co of course, everyone is lonely. Oh. Morning. Hey, did you see that just now? What a cute cat. Yukiko and me gave it some food a while back, but it just won't take to, take to me. Oh well, I'm more of a dog person anyway. Oh yeah, I got a text from Yukiko. She said she's slowly getting better. Doesn't seem like there's any weird lasting effects, so that's good. I'm relieved to hear that. All we have to do is wait until she gets better. Let's hold off on the other stuff until then. I agree. The next segment of the game, though, is whack. Oh, shit. The beginning of these. Also, 420. Let's go. Hey. What's up? You doing anything? Oh, yeah. If you have time after school, let's go get something to eat. Maybe you should hang out with Yosuke after school. Maybe I should. Maybe I shouldn't. Looks like I'm going to. Lunchtime. Afternoon. Oh, cool. We're going to take a... All right, all right! Settle down now, class is now in session! My name is Mr. Hosoi, and in this class, you'll be learning about contemporary writing. Let's all have fun. I know this is off topic, but what's the point of applying for colleges outside Inaba? Why even bother? Nothing good ever comes out of competing with city folk. The countryside is all you need. Well, since this is our very first lesson, why don't you show me how much you already know? Now then, how many parts are the are there in Murakami, Murakami's The Wind-Up Bird Chronicle? Hanachan, I'm calling on you. I get the feeling you're not much of a reader. Hey, I read. I mean, not books, but you. Come on, man. Help me here. Just like in Persona 5, I don't know the answer to all the questions, and I don't feel like dealing with what is going on with my phone's music jesus all right uh persona four gold and four twenty answer the answer is three my guy you dummy how did you not know that why don't you pull out your phone you gave him the answer you think is correct very good hanachan either you're more literary literary than you look or that was a lucky guess the Wind Up Bird Chronicle was released as three separate stories. It's the eighth of his 12, pu 12 published books. His latest book, 1Q84, was published in 2009. Its first printing sold out on the very first day of sale. And of course, that's not counting all his short stories and essays, which I don't have time to get into right now. Phew, you're a lifesaver, you. Thanks. Yosuke appreciates you. You feel you've become a little closer to Yosuke. Your expression has increased. It's because I was good at being like, hey, it's three, you dumbass. Classes have ended for today. You are waiting for Yukiko to recover. Let's save the game, because this is the end of recording session one for me. It took us 12 saves to get there. But we are now past the intro of the game, the prologue. We finished the first, you know, dungeon, which was Yukiko's castle. The game really has begun. So thank you guys for watching this. And uh, I'm going to catch you guys on the flip side in the next episode, which I'll be recording in like a week. So <laughs> thank you for watching. See you guys then.